Hey, welcome to Gigi's Cookbook. I know you're all waiting for my show and I'm waiting to show you something really, really wonderful this time. This time, um, it's meant for small kiddies also because last time I showed a savory breakfast. This time, I'm going to show a very nice sweet breakfast for all your sweet darlings and your sweet little kids. Okay, now this particular uh, episode has again a very very healthy breakfast which uh, are again sweet pancakes okay pancakes but they are not the usual type of pancakes which are just made of white flour and um, you know empty calories no this has full of nutrition as always in all Gigi's cookbook things now this particular pancake is totally delicious because it contains bananas yes very very ripe uh, green bananas and these bananas are supposed to now bananas we all know has a whole lot of potassium potassium is very good in lowering your blood pressure and also your heart it's very good for your heart it keeps all uh, heart diseases at bay so eat a lot of bananas because you get a whole lot of banana just in eating one banana you get a whole lot of potassium also it contains resistant starch resistant starch is very good for people uh, with blood sugar levels because they it keeps your blood sugar level che in check and it does not make it surge up or it does not allow it to go up so that is also a very good tip this particular uh, banana chocolate chip pancake is totally a treat for small kids also it's a good way of making your little darlings to eat breakfast on time and with happiness and gaiety. So why are you waiting? Come on, I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. For these uh, sweet pancakes, now I know there are some people who love savory pancakes and some people like sweet, uh, sweet pancakes or sweet breakfast and savory breakfast. Last time I had showed you my savory breakfast meant for adults and all the people who love uh, savory things. But this time it's for all these sweet darlings and also for young kids now in the pancakes i'm going to show today okay you can uh, subtract uh, anything you want i'll tell you you can uh, these are actually banana chocolate chip pancakes okay dark uh, chocolate i've used uh, dark chocolate chips now you don't have to add dark chocolate chips okay you can um, no if it's for kids oh they'll be more than welcome to have uh, chocolate chips in their pancakes um, if you don't want that, you can avoid it. You can just make banana pancakes. Um, and uh, it contains uh, oat bran also. It uh, contains oats, oat bran, and, um, you know, uh, bananas. Oat bran is also very good. It helps in your digestive system. It um, makes uh, your bowel movement very, very uh, normal and apt. Okay? So, how we're going to start off this is... You need a blender so easy no no absolutely no hassles we can actually do it in the morning uh, as soon as we get up um, uh, put it all into a blender and make these pancakes and you can make sure that your kids okay uh, will eat it because they contain chocolate chips and they'll say mommy please can we have that once again so you wait and see okay six egg whites first of all six egg whites okay you're going to use all the um, liquid ingredients first. Three ripe bananas. It should, should, should be ripe. Unless it's ripe, it's not going to taste well. Now, I have um, stressed in my previous episodes, uh, when we use, um, uh, or when we, yeah, when we use bananas in baking, pro break, baking things or um, pancakes, and for cooking as such, it's usually for baking you have to use overripe bananas bananas which are ugly which uh, to look at outside now this doesn't look very aesthetically beautiful but it um, uh, once the, f the flavor usually comes out when it's overripe okay so what we he do here is just chop it you don't even need a knife just break it in with your hands three bananas three medium type of bananas um, if it's very very small bananas you can use four okay but 
like I said, when you see these bananas, you'll you'll go. Ooh. It's, I mean, it's not very appealing, but once um, you use it, the full flavor comes out. It's going to be really good. So we've got our six egg whites and our three overripe uh, medium bananas. What we need is one and a half uh, cups of oats. Now, oh, there is nothing in JJ's cookbook without any oats. Now, as we all know, I have told you 100 billion times that oats is really good for you. And it's by the, um, the Food and Drug Administration in USA uh, have approved oats as the best thing uh, for breakfast. So that's why I include oats in everything. It is totally, totally good. It's a total health food. Okay, one and a half cups of oats. In that goes. Okay, then oat bran. Okay, this is the outer uh, coating of uh, the oat. It, not, the, not the total, um, the seed of the oat, but just uh, above the real oat kernel. Okay, so oat bran is very good for your digestive system. Very good, it prevents cancer, colon cancer, and all sorts of things because it contains a lot of, lot of insoluble fiber. Okay, half cup. Then what we need is half cup of all-purpose flour. Usually in all pancakes, uh, what they do is just add what? Egg, butter, and um, all-purpose flour, the whole thing. All-purpose flour, okay, is totally zero calories, no nutrition at all. I want you, as JJ's cookbook viewers, to have real good nutritious breakfast, nutritious food. Okay, now, here what we do, we need around half a teaspoon of cinnamon powder. Cinnamon powder always brings out the flavor um, in um, bananas. Next what we do need is uh, one teaspoon of baking soda. One teaspoon of baking soda. Now a tip that I've learned from my teacher very long ago is that whenever we use bananas because it has a lot of fiber, bananas have a lot of fiber, uh, it's a very good idea to always add soda baking soda whenever you use um, bananas because soda actually helps with the fiber okay one teaspoon of baking powder so one big one teaspoon of baking powder and one teaspoon of baking soda that's also there now what we need is two tablespoons of oil two tablespoons of oil okay and if I can find my lid yep I'm going to give it a whiz. So now my pancake batter, healthy pancake batter is ready. Okay.